Question number 15. Diagram 12 shows a square and a rectangle. So, given the sum of area, sum of area, that means these two plus together, is more than 8 square meters, using the table method, find the range of values of x. Okay, so we got two of this area here, a1, a2. So, the sum of these two area should be, it should be more than 8. So we just have to form that equation. So question A. So the area for this would be x times x. So it's x square plus this one will be what? x times 2x plus 10. So you get 2x square plus 10x should be more than 8. Okay, so simplify this. x, oh sorry, 3x square plus 10x, you bring the 8 here, become negative 8, more than 0. So, first step, what we do is, we will make it equal 0 first, so that we can factorize. So, this one, what you will get is 3x minus 2, and x plus 4. Okay, you factorize yourself. Huh? So, x equals to 2 over 3, and also x equals to negative 4. Okay, now we have found the x values. Now we have to find the range, right, using the table method. So let us do the table method. So the table method is, um, okay, let me just draw here. Okay, something like this. Uh. Wait, is it? Yeah, okay. So, we will have two values here. This one will be... Wait, uh, so... Oh, wait. Why I draw so long? My bad. Mm. This one no need. Don't need so long. Okay, we just need this. So, the x value we're going to put here and here okay so this one x equals to 2 over 3 x equals to negative 4 so i'm just going to put the smaller one i put in front so x equals to negative 4 is here this one x equals to 2 over 3 okay and then here it will be the first one is 3x minus 2 okay this one here then x plus 4 is here and then this one is the combination 3x minus 2 x plus 4 okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to assign a, a value for this tree okay we're going to assign a value so this part here should be x because here is x equals negative 4 that one rep represents this line so if i want to go something i want to put a value here it has to be a number smaller than negative 5 a uh, negative 4 sorry x equals negative 4 you have to be smaller than x equals negative 4. so the neg wait let me just write this properly So what am I going to use? You can use any number. So in this case, I'm just going to use x equals to negative 5. Okay. You can use x equals negative 10, negative 20, negative 100, up to you. Okay. In the end of the day, we don't need the value. When we find all this, we only need the sign, whether it's positive or negative. So it doesn't matter the value. So you put any value here, as long as it's smaller than x equals negative 4. And then here should be between negative 4 and 2 over 3. So I'm going to use x equals to 0 and then here should be more than x equals to 3 so it will be let's say I take x equals to 1 okay so when I put in the values I mean when I substitute negative 5 into this I will get a negative answer when I put x equals 0 into this I get a negative answer as well this one I get positive negative positive positive and then the last part, you just have to times. Lah. So negative times negative, you get positive. Negative times positive, you get negative. Positive, positive, you get positive. So which one are we going to take? So since we are looking for more than, okay, we're looking for more than zero. More than means positive. More than zero is positive. So it's positive here, positive here. 
So therefore, the answer should be, <coughs> the x value should be either less than negative 4 or x more than 2 over 3. Okay, this is your answer. The range of x. Clear? Alright, next. A quadratic equation is given by, so they give you this quadratic equation here. Okay, let me write down. Huh? So, question B1. X squared plus 3X minus, oh wait, my equals to negative 4P. So, I bring it here, it become positive 4P. Okay. Find the range of P if the equation has imaginary root. Imaginary root means what? B squared minus 4AC less than 0. Okay, less than 0. Imaginary root means no real roots. Okay, so it's less than 0. So we can find, what's the ABC first? A is equals to 1. Okay, here is 1. B is equals to 3. C is equals to 4P. So now we can do uh, the answer. B square minus 4AC. B square is 3 square minus 4AC is uh, 4P. Equals, oh sorry, not equals, less than 0. We want to find the P value. So 9 minus 16p less than 0. So negative 16p less than negative 9. Then when I shift the negative 9, okay, because there's a negative, okay, it becomes more than, it will flip the sign, okay. Whenever you remove the negative, that means how to remove. So to remove this negative, you have to divide by negative 16, divide by negative 16. As long as you divide by the negative, a negative value, the sign will flip, okay, the sign will flip. So what you get is P equals to 9, uh, more than 9 over 16, okay. This is your answer, okay, P more than 9 over 16. Question 2. It is given that the equation has roots alpha and beta, okay. So we already got ABC, right, so we can do the root first. So the sum of root will be alpha Wait, uh, let me erase this first. So the sum of root will be alpha plus beta. So it's what? Negative b over a, right? Negative b is b is 3. a is 1. So 3 over 1. So it's negative 3. Lah. Then the product of root product of root is alpha beta, because you're going to times, is c over a. c is this. a is 3. So 4p over... Eh, sorry, 4p over 1, not over 3. So 4p. Okay. For those who don't remember the formula, uh, sum of root is negative b over a, product of root is c over a. Okay. So you can remember negative bacha. Okay. b over a, c over a. Okay. Negative bacha. Okay. Let's go to, let me erase this first. Okay, so we got the sum of root and product of root. Now the question asking us to form a new quadratic equation with the new roots here. So we find the first one, the sum of root. The new sum of root. So new sum of root will be alpha minus beta plus 1 plus beta minus alpha plus 1. So what is happening here is the alpha you are going to plus negative alpha. So what happens? It becomes zero because you can cancel. Then minus beta plus beta. So you also get zero because you can cancel. So positive one plus positive one, you get two, right? You get two. So this one equals to two. The new sum of root is two. Now we do the new product of root. So now you have the times. Okay. So alpha times beta, you get alpha beta. Alpha times negative alpha, so you get negative alpha square. Alpha times 1, you get alpha. 
same thing here negative beta square positive alpha beta negative beta then for the one you get beta minus alpha plus one okay let's simplify this hmm okay so this one we can cancel positive alpha negative alpha cancel mm, anything else can we cancel oh negative beta positive beta cancel so from here now what we have left is alpha beta plus alpha beta you get two alpha beta and then you got negative and negative so negative alpha square minus beta square plus one okay so what we can do is we can put this together because we don't have the alpha beta we can substitute because we have it here okay but this one we don't have alpha square and beta square so we put them together factorize the negative out we get alpha square plus beta square okay um why are we doing this is because um wait uh, let me think is there no mm, yeah so the reason why we are doing this is because we can actually turn this turn this into this alpha plus beta square let me put a big bracket minus alpha 2 alpha beta why is it like this because you see if i expand this if i expand this right i will get alpha square plus beta square plus 2 times this 2 right 2 alpha beta and then i minus 2 alpha beta again from here so this one cancel so what i have left alpha plus beta right there alpha plus beta okay so you need to understand this concept now okay so that i can substitute because i don't have alpha square plus beta square but when i convert to this this one here alpha plus beta i have alpha beta also i have okay so now i can substitute okay so what i will have is let me just write here 2 alpha beta alpha beta is eh, sorry alpha beta is 4p so 2 times 4p minus uh, alpha plus beta is negative 3 so negative 3 square minus 2 alpha beta is 4p plus 1 so i get 8p minus uh, 9 and then this is a negative 8p so negative and negative become positive plus 1 okay so 8p plus 8p will give me 16p negative 9 plus 1 will give me negative 8 so this is your answer oh sorry guys we actually haven't finished because the question asking us to form the new equation not to find the new SORPOR so your answer should be the new equation the new quadratic will be so the general form is what x square minus s o r x plus p o r right so the s o r we already got is 2 okay so it's minus 2 x plus p o r is this 16 p minus 8 so 16 p minus 8 okay so this is your this is your answer lah the new equation.